Hey guys, Drew Lentz, The Wireless Nerd, and today I wanna to show you something that I'm working on. Behind me you see the Meraki MV32 camera. Now this is the fisheye lens camera, and it's sitting on top of this tripod using our camera stand adapter. That thing was custom built specifically for this camera. And what this does is gives me the chance to pop up a camera, connect it to the internet using this mobile kit and this mobile router with a battery pack on it, which will give me about six hours runtime, four to six hours runtime on that camera. And using this kit, I can put it anywhere in the United States, stand it up and take the video from there and pipe it into virtual reality. Now, once I put on my goggles, I'm using the Oculus Quest here, I can use some software made by our friends at Spaces, uh, VR Spaces, go to spaces.com, and I can take this video, I can pipe it into virtual reality, and that way it gives me the ability not just to be inside the environment, but mark up the environment while I'm in there. Check it out. Okay, so here I am inside virtual reality. Now I'm actually looking at myself in the room, <laughs> in the room. So this is kind of interesting. So what you see is that my vantage point is from the camera. So I'm up, you know, six feet above the ground or whatever. But what's pretty cool about this is this gives me the ability to look around and see what's going on. Now I can look to the left, I can look up, I can look down. Uh, if I want to move around, I can move around the room. I can get closer to the bookshelf. I can go over to the other side of the room to my little DJ station over here. But basically, it gives me the ability to move anywhere in the room that I need to be. And while I'm in here, I can see that there's different things. Now you can see uh, that there's a place where you could put an AP, maybe run a cable. You can see I have cables running across the floor here. But the way that you do it is there's this really cool little ball. And this ball show, shows me the entire world uh, or just right here in front of me. So I'm going to take my little uh, pins and pencils over here and I'm going to start to mark up this ball. And let's say I want to take an access point. I'll use the color red. And let's say I want to stick an access point just uh, up here in this corner right there. Um, I'm really not good at drawing, not, uh, not in real life or in virtual reality. So let's say I want to stick an access point there. I can do that. Now, if I look up, I can see that it's up on the ceiling. So just where it is right here on the ball, it's right up there in the ceiling. If I turn this around, it doesn't move and I can look and say, okay, I wanna do a, a cable route. So I'm gonna go over here and look and see where I need to run the cable. I can go back over here to my ball and I can grab that. Let's see here, back up a little bit there. And I can say, all right, I'm gonna grab my blue marker and I'm gonna draw that cable route. So let's say I'm gonna run it down uh, along here and I'm gonna cut it around this way uh, let's see, and then I'm going to come straight down here back into my computer. Now you can see that the cable route is actually drawn right here in the virtual world. Now I can look at this here, I can see this on the ball, and this is all being fed through the camera. You can actually see my computer over there, so you can see what I'm recording as I'm recording it. You can watch me draw and move around my room, if that's really what you want to do, since this is all happening in semi-real time, kind of interesting. The cable that you see coming down off my head, that's the Oculus Link cable. I'm using the Oculus Quest headset, so it's about a you know, $400 headset using the Oculus Link cable connected to my PC. Um, I'd say that my office needs to be cleaner, but actually if you go over there, these are all cameras that I've been testing out uh, before we got the uh, Meraki camera working. But what you'll see here is the ability to really work around this environment. And I can take this with me as I move around the room so I can see a different perspective. You can see my markers are now over there in the corner. So if I don't like where I put this, I can grab my, uh, my brush and I, or my, uh, my eraser. I can go back over here. I can get my ball. I can put it in front of me and I can erase any of that stuff that's on the ceiling. And now you can see, uh, go back over here, you can see that it's erased not only on my little ball, but it's erased um, in the uh, augmented environment as well. So again, this is augmented reality uh, inside virtual reality, and that's what I wanted to show off. So all in all, I think it's a pretty cool solution. Uh, without the MV32 behind me, it wouldn't be possible. I really did go through a number of different cameras. If you look over here, I've got uh, all kinds of cameras that we were messing with trying to get this to work. Um, but at the end of the day, the Meraki was the one that really helped us out. So we wouldn't have been able to do this without the Meraki MV32 behind me. We've got the camera stand mount attached to the kit behind us. I think it's a pretty cool solution. Thanks for listening. If you have any comments or questions or anything, hit me up at Wireless Nerd. See you later. Thanks.